Hi, it's Pastor Paul L. Anderson here at the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, where we believe God's blessings never stop flowing. It is Triumphant Thursday. We thank God for how he's given us the victory. We've made it through the middle of the week. I want to take a quick moment of personal privilege. I want to say happy 111th Founders Day to all my brothers of the Omega Psi Phi Fraternity Incorporated. I tell you, friendship is definitely essential to the soul. Today, as we begin to look into God's word out of Hebrews, the ninth chapter, verses 23 through 28, we find these words that I have coined this once and for all. It's always important for us to know that Christ became the only sacrifice that we would need. He sacrificed himself by going to Calvary's cross, dying for our sins, that the price of our sins would be paid in full. Prior to this, in the Old Testament, we find out that when they had the tabernacle every year, Persons would have to go in to offer a blood sacrifice with animals so that they can be purified and they can have all the sacrifices that were needed for their lives to be perfect in harmony with God. Well, Christ came and he did it once and for all. When he went to Calvary, he died for your sins and for mine. And that means he went to that tabernacle not made with hands, the one that's in heaven. We begin to see in this text, it lets us see that when Jesus entered into heaven, he went into that holies of holies, that place that's at the throne room of almighty God and his blood paid the price for all of our sins. We must remind ourselves because of what Christ did for us at Calvary, we get into the kingdom, not based upon our works, not based upon our sacrifices, but his atoning work at Calvary, how he died for your sins and for mine. But the good part about it, he didn't just die, but he rose with all power in his hand. Therefore, his sacrifice was once and for all. We never have to do it again. All of us must remind ourselves because of what Christ did for us. He laid down his life. You and I, we must tell everybody about this good news of the gospel and that salvation is made here for us all. Jesus paid it all like the hymnologist said, all to him I owe. Sin had left a crimson stain, but he washed it whiter than snow. My brothers and my sisters, I'm happy that Christ paid the price for your sins and for mine once and for all. There's no annual event that we have to do to wait once a year to have all of our sins forgiven. I'm so grateful that he paid it all. And today, let's tell somebody about the love that God has for them, that he came to earth. He suffered, bled and died, was resurrected for your sins and for mine that then we can become brothers in Christ and we can be with God in glory, but have a great time down here. May God bless you. May heaven smile upon you. Always know in this year of 2022, you are exceedingly and abundantly blessed and God has a great blessing in store for you. I look forward to talking to you again on tomorrow. To sow a seed to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, visit our newly redesigned website, thefountainofraleigh.org and select sow a seed from the homepage. Also, giving has been made easier with the new Fountain of Raleigh app, available now in the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. Download today, select giving from the main menu, and then follow the directions to complete your giving through Subsplash. Thank you so very much for all of your gifts and donations that you've given to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship. We thank you for what you've done in the past, what you're currently doing, and what you will do in the future. Your gifts and donations helps us to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ, not only locally, but throughout the world. Thank you again for your gifts, and may God continue to richly bless you. It is here at the Fountain that we believe that we are exceedingly and abundantly blessed, and may you receive those blessings that God has in store for you. Okay.